Hey everyone, uh, my name is Sati and I'm the host and community manager for Team Property. And with me today, I have Marion, who Hello. is a player in our female team. And uh, we're going to have a little interview here, asking a couple of questions. Okay, so the first question will be, how do you feel about being a part of Team Property? Um, actually, it's kind of amazing. Like, uh, everything is uh, really cool because uh, the org is really taking care of us. Uh, they give us a lot of opportunities and it's really good. We are like a big family, so it's nice. Yeah, I agree. Uh, how did you find your interest for Counter-Strike? Uh, it was kind of a long time ago now, but um, I met some friends at high school or college. I don't know which one is it in English, but whatever. And um, they were playing Counter-Strike during uh, holidays, so I just joined them and really fast I just wanted to be better than them. So I keep like playing and finally I just entered a noob CSGO female team because uh, I knew there was some LAN stuff and things like this. So that's how I get in. All right. Uh, and how is the mood between the girls in the team right now? Uh, in my team? Yeah, in your team. Um, it's like perfect actually uh, everybody I think actually I'm talking for everyone but I think everybody is happy about the team and we are really evolving together and um, this is kind of different from my other team everybody feel like we are at the same level and nobody is like screaming on anybody and we are just evolving together of course we just say when people do mistake and say like this but nobody is taking taking it bad and nobody is like mean to some other players so it's really nice all right uh sounds very good and uh, how did it feel to qualify for the esport world championship that is coming up the next week uh, it was really great actually like we were really happy to qualify it was a bit hard because uh, it was like our first uh, really important tournament we were doing together. So we did like kind of a lot of mistake, but we managed to get in ESWC. So we are pretty happy about it. Do you feel confident going into the tournament now? You talked about that you have a good mood in the team and, uh, uh, and well, yeah, you did qualify. So like, how do you feel? How do you feel about it? Uh, I think our group is a bit hard uh, in the way that uh, it's either we can beat everybody, either we can also lose everybody. So it's only going to depend on us. And uh, I'm not afraid of anybody, but just us, like uh, if we're going to do mistake or not. And we need to prepare a lot about it and everything is possible, I think. Yeah, all right. Um, and you're going to have a boot camp now as well. Uh, are you excited for that? Look. Good girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, actually, it's a really great opportunity that uh, Property give, gave us. Like uh, doing a bootcamp is the most important thing we can do before a big event like this. Um, girls are coming tonight at nine. Julie is already here, as you can see. And um, it's going to be yeah. like. Shut up. It's going to be like a really. Uh, full bootcamp, we have many things to do, but uh, I think we're going to prepare really well being in bootcamp and it's like the best thing we could do before this. So we are pretty happy about it and we bought a lot of food, so that's nice. <laughs> well, yeah, food is important. Yeah, of course wow. it is. <laughs> um, well, what are your history before joining the team? Like, what are other teams have you been playing in? Um, kind of many. I just begin like in eternity, it was on one point sync on 2009. Uh, it was with uh, Alex from NGLC, for example, Lily that is not playing anymore and some other girl. And after this, uh, I went to BTB, like uh, with uh, Rita, uh, Biki, Izzy, Mitsu, Mitsu, which is uh, still playing in Millennium right now. And then we went to Millennium, but it was still on 1.6. Then I begin um, global offensive with the same girls actually, and I stopped like for a while because I had um, many internship to do in China and some studies. So I stopped like for two years, and I begin again like maybe one year and a half, two years ago with Melty, which is like a Torca. Uh, actually, actually, it's Millennium from today, uh, but I was um, 
instead of Misa. And then we right. just, same team went to Millennium and after I, we go to property with uh, the team you know today. All right. Um, how is the female esports scene in the country you're coming from? Um, I, it's like, there is like uh, maybe four or five teams, French teams, and actually two competing at high level, but uh, it was like, uh, there was a lot of things before, but no, there is not anymore. Like, I mean, uh, when we were like uh, three, four years ago, uh, there were land, French land with a lot of French teams, and no, there is not anymore. So I don't know, like French teams are still competing to a high level with like Millennium and LDLC, but still it's not the same because there is no, not anymore like uh, lands, uh, French land with uh, like eight, uh, nine, ten teams, French teams. So mm. I don't know, it's like only five teams, so I don't know what to say more. Like it's okay, but not so. Is there anything that you miss in the female Counter-Strike scene? Like, uh, is there anything that you feel that you that you're missing? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we don't have enough lands for sure. Like it's only yeah. three at year, so I don't know. Like. Uh, I hope like soon we will get uh, more and more lands. I know that uh, people are trying to bring some stuff in thermal scene, but still, I think we miss like the community because uh, people are trashing us for being women and playing not in mixed tournaments. And also we miss like uh, the tournament. So yeah, I guess that's kind of whole and it makes everything too. So. All right. Um, what is your favorite weapon in game and what, what is your like your strong side uh favorite weapon is um five seven it's molotov <laughs> <laughs> no it's five seven and uh, my, my strong side i don't know actually it depends on map so I, I cannot tell you what is my strong side so sometimes it could be ct sometimes it could be t so I think it depends on map. I have map I'm really bad and map I'm pretty good at, so it depends. And I only have one more question for you. Uh, it's a little bit of a game called Fuck, oh Mary Kill. God. Really? This name? Okay, I know the question. <laughs> okay, uh, well basically I'm gonna give you three names and you're yes. gonna answer... Well, who would you fuck, who would you marry and who would you kill? Okay. <laughs> and the three names are Forest, Scream and Happy. <laughs> How did you pick that name? <laughs> I just chose random. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, so I would uh, definitely... I, I, I don't want to kill anybody, but I would definitely kill Forrest because he's a good player, so if I kill him, it oh means no. I'm, a be I'm a better player. No. I would uh, marry Happy because he seems to be... I mean, he's not smiling at all, so it will do like, you know, I'm always smiling, he's not smiling, so maybe we could be good at, like, marrying together. <laughs> and I would fuck... Uh, Scream. Uh, do, do I, oh, no, I, I, I didn't have something before. The, can I kill two, or is it one word? No, it's one. One each. Okay, so I... Oh my god, I'm gonna be mean. No, I don't, I don't know. No, okay, I will... Uh, oh, I you, will went, you went fuck Scream, you know what? Because we will have child after and always one tap. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I would fuck scream for his one tap so that he only answer one tap in me and then he go back. <laughs> so that's it, I guess. All right. Thank you. <laughs> well, yeah, that's uh, that's it I, for. I'm uh, red, red, right? Okay. Yeah, you are. Yes. It's all right. All right, well, yeah, that's it for uh, the questions. Uh, thank you so much for taking your time and uh, good luck in the tournament. Yeah, thank you very much. Have a good end of day. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye.